everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do uh, hls streaming or http live streaming in native android application using exoplayer so let's get started so here is an hls uh, like http live streaming so i'll just play this video uh, so hope you can see this uh, like uh, the uh, ui is little janky because i am trying to stream my uh, uh, android device over wi-fi debugging or why over wi-fi that's why the ui might, like the video might look a little bit janky to you but trust me on a real android device it is come it works perfectly fine so let's get started on how to do this so firstly uh, here as you can see i have created uh, first i have created a native android application and i am using uh, xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well uh, so first inside build.gradle.kts I have included three dependencies exoplayer UI as well as exoplayer HLS and I am using the li new libs version stormel file so the actual uh, the version number has been referenced over here so if you see uh, these are the two version media 3 exoplayer media 3 UI so here I am using that uh, media 3 so these are the three dependency this one is for hls this one is for ui and this one is for exoplayer so you will have to copy this as well as the, this two code and then just click on sync now it will download all the dependency for you then uh, inside android manifest i have added the internet permission then inside activity underscore main if i go to my code here as you can see i have just taken one player view uh, the width is 0 dp height is 200 dp and it is of fixed height uh, show buffering when playing yeah uh, uh, and I'm showing all the buttons which I want to uh, margin button is 16 dp you don't have to set it use artwork is true use controller is true and I have just constrained it now you can use it whatever you however you feel like uh, make sure you add your internet permission inside Android manifest and inside main activity uh, all I have done is that I have taken an exo player as well as our player view current item is 0 playback position is 0 as well here we are initializing our player view so I am passing the id whatever you have set it inside our activity underscore main over here and on destroy we are releasing our player on resume we are setting up our player and on pause also we are releasing our player so inside setup player if the player is already playing some video we are releasing it and making it null then we are constructing our player so here we get our exo player and i am using the default source factory here we are constructing our uri so here you can see like i am not an expert on hls from what i understood is that if the extension of a file ex uh, ends with m3 u8 that means uh, it is an uh, hls video so i am just passing that part this particular video then i am creating a media item then I am creating the video source using our uh, media item as well as with this HLS media source. Then just assign it to our player. Then I set it to our media source. Play when ready is true. Exoplayer.seek2 current passing our current item as well as playback position. And then just preparing our exoplayer. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.